today's class we discussed about uh, uh, introduction to stability different definitions for stability and uh, people do you have any any clarifications needed in the previous class based on the root location based on the coefficients of your characteristic equation and today we are uh, getting inside uh, a very important uh, topic called as routh hurwitz stability analysis okay this routh hurwitz stability analysis is uh, is again an analytical method to describe to comment about the stability to to find the <coughs> range of uh, the gain value to make your system remain inside the stability so it's an analytical method the previous uh, uh, methods of uh, commenting about stability is and all using root locus bode uh, those are all coming under uh, graphical methods and this is again a purely an analytical method okay so let us uh, go at the end of this lecture you will be able to uh, know what is routh hurwitz stability criteria and how uh, a routh array has been constructed and it has uh, uh, special cases also we will we will say what is the special case today and we will deal with those special cases and how to overcome that where the the problems in the uh, coming lectures right so today we will be uh, dealing with the basics of routh hurwitz criteria uh, and then the steps involved in uh, in in uh, in creating uh, a routh array and based on the formed routh array uh how could you how could you comment about uh, the stability of the system that that is what we will discuss we, we will be discussing today so as i said routh hurwitz stability criteria is an analytical procedure to determine whether the roots of the polynomial have negative real part or not that is what is a negative real part it uh, it lies in the left hand side of the s plane what it suggests this negative real part suggests that your roots lie on the left hand side of the s plane if it is a positive real part then it goes to the right hand side okay right that that is one thing and uh, okay once you once you are getting once you are having your characteristic equation uh, you are supposed to uh, check for necessary and sufficient condition the necessary condition and sufficient conditions okay you will see one by one the first step uh, in analyzing the stability uh, is to examine the characteristic equation what what you can do um, if it is a second order system there is no need to go for uh, routh array and uh, calculate or comment about the stability because you can straight away find the roots of the system then you can say uh, then you can comment about the system whether it is an open loop uh, transfer function or a closed loop transfer function you you can you can find your uh, roots there and you can comment about the open loop stability as well as the closed loop stability even if it is a third order system you can work on it and find the roots directly suppose if it is a higher order system of order 5 6 7 and all then it becomes a tedious work to find the roots and all even though uh, computational tools are available now uh, this this procedure in the previous years are used are widely used in uh, in determining the stability of the system for higher order uh, systems actually okay so the necessary condition for stability uh, yesterday we have described that what is that all the coefficients all the coefficients of the polynomial what is a polynomial it is a characteristic equal polynomial should be positive if some of the coefficients are zero or negative it can be concluded that system is not stable so the necessary condition for stability here is you should have all the coefficients present in the characteristic equation and the polynomial uh, the character the coefficients of those uh, the, the the characteristic polynomial should be positive no uh, coefficient should be left behind Uh, are you, 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 you know characteristic i mean you know coefficients of the characteristic polynomial uh, should be absent or it should be negative in nature if if that is the case then i can conclude that system is not stable system is not stable that is a necessary condition 
what is the sufficient condition is you have to form a route array then check for a condition we will discuss about that condition and you have to conclude about that the system is exactly unstable or stable or marginally stable any doubts in this particular slide so i i have told you what is route array route route hurwitz criteria is a an analytical procedure a mathematical method to determine whether whether your routes lie on the left hand side of the s plane or it is on the right hand side of the s plane through a checking procedure and it has two stages the first one is necessary condition and the second one is sufficient condition necessary condition is your characteristic equation what is the characteristic equation the equation 1 plus g of s h of s is equal to 0 this is your characteristic equation characteristic equation okay you 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 analyze that characteristic equation you go through that you check that whether all the coefficients of the characteristic equation is present and that is uh, that is found to be positive then you say the system is stable then you can you, you can conclude or comment that the mostly the system is going to be stable if it goes on other way that is some coefficients are not there or some of the coefficients are negative then you can conclude that the system is not stable this is your this is your necessary condition this is your necessary condition this is your necessary condition the second stage is you have to go for a sufficient condition any doubts regarding necessary condition people in the class do you have any doubts in the necessary condition take your characteristic equation for example if you have a characteristic equation like s cube plus 3s squared plus 4s plus 2 is equal to 0 this is my characteristic equation so what are all the coefficients the coefficients is 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 2 all are positive so what i can conclude so system is stable okay this is or if i have another example like i have s cube plus 4s minus 2 so what happens here the coefficients the coefficient of s squared is 0 the coefficient of the or the coefficient i cannot say we get the 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 constant value is minus 2 negative so system may be may be unstable system may be unstable any doubts hello hello if if you have a equation from your from your system a characteristic equation and if you check for the coefficients okay then you can conclude about its stability this is necessary condition what is sufficient condition let us say you have a characteristic equation like this the characteristic equation is a not s power n a1 s power n minus 1 plus a2 s power n minus 2 plus etc up to an is equal to 0 okay you have a characteristic equation please please listen carefully please uh, listen carefully i am going little slower only please listen carefully whenever you have a doubt please please ask me a question so from the from the equation equation let us say this is equation number 1 from this equation 1 okay from 1 take the coefficients and arrange the first two rows s power n this uh, s power n row and s power n minus 1 row from this equation 1 how to do that take the coefficient of s power n what is the coefficient of s power n anybody in the class from the equation 1 what is the coefficient of s power n please respond yes madhumita correct a not so i start from that i first i put first element first row as a not then leave a1 i will leave this a1 i will take a2 that is the coefficient of s power n minus 2 
then i will leave the next a3 then i will take a4 leave a5 then i will take a6 clear clear what i have taken i have taken first element to be the coefficient of the highest power of the polynomial s power n a not then i will leave that a1 i will take a2 then i will leave a3 i will take a4 so i will take the i will take the adjacent adjacent coefficients and i will take the next coefficient in the second row it is s power n minus 1 okay i will take the coefficient of s power n minus 1 what is the coefficient of s power n minus 1 from the equation 1 hello everybody in the class what is the coefficient of s power n minus 1 yes it is a1 so i will take a1 i will leave a2 i will take a3 i will leave a4 i will take a5 then it goes on up to whatever i have in the uh, I, i will ha i have in the equation if there if, if it is uh, uh, if it is not uh, uh, anyway we will we will discuss right okay so we will complete these first two rows from the equation number 1 any doubt so far any doubt so far we we completed the first two rows from this equation number 1 first two rows we completed from equation number 1 yes are you clear about it hello right now now let us let us go to the third row third row is s power n minus 2 s power n minus 2 what you do you, you, you follow me steps uh, closely watch the step what i am doing it is a1 into a2 okay like a matrix multiplication like a matrix determinant finding out the determinant value a1 into a2 minus a not minus a3 a not Minus a3 divided by a1 is equal to b1. I have named that as b1, and b1 is a1 minus a2 minus a not minus a3 divided by a1. Any doubts? Any doubts? Okay. What will be the next? I I name that as b2. here what is b2 it is a1 into a4 minus a not into a5 divided by a1 you can see it here it is a1 into a4 minus a not into a5 divided by a1 that is going to be b2 then the third element it is a1 into a6 minus a not into a7 divided by a1 that is your b3 it goes on it goes on is that clear the third row it is clear hello is the third row clear right now i am going for the fourth row fourth row is s power n minus 3 i name the first element as c1 what is c1 it is b1 into a3 minus b2 into a1 divided by b1 you can see it here you can see it here b1 a3 minus a1 b2 divided by because these are the two rows you have to consider to calculate this c1 now you try to go for the next uh, c2 it is going to be b1 minus a5 uh, sorry b1 into a5 minus a1 into b3 divided by b1 and this continues this continues up to s power 0 this continues up to s power 0 
this continues up to 8 pep, uh, okay s power 0 and most probably your g1 will be equal to an the last element of your characteristic equation any doubts so far for me or outer any doubts hello everybody in the class i want everybody to respond only four are coming out okay so so this is how this is how a router has to be formed this is your first step of checking your sufficient condition after you complete this after you complete this now you are supposed to check your first column let me let me okay let me make it clear now i have done it now i have to check my first column okay this is your first column the values of a not to g1 if all the elements in this first column are positive system is system is stable if there is a sign change if there is a sign change in this first column then it is going to be unstable and the number of sign changes provides the number of roots in the right hand side of the s plate you can see that that is been mentioned here in the statement downwards all the elements in the first column of router a all the elements in the first column of the router a is positive then that is the necessary and sufficient condition for stability okay is it okay if if the condition is not met what is the condition not met that all the elements are not positive in the first column they are not positive the system is unstable and the the number of sign changes in the elements of the first column corresponds to the number of roots of the characteristic equation in the right hand side of the s plane we already know that we already know that if you have a pole on the right hand side of the s plane then your system is unstable unstable okay so can anybody summarize summarize the condition somebody can speak out someone in the class can speak out state what is the condition anybody yes come out unmute yourself and uh, you speak out what is the condition for stability from the router a anybody who are all present today i will check it out Okay, Madhumita, can you say? Madhumita, can you unmute yourself and say what is the condition for stability using router A? Madhumita, are you present there? Or your machine is there? What about uh, Gani? Gani, can you say what would be the condition for stability using router a sir yeah all the elements ah. in the first column of router a be positive sir okay fine okay why people are hesitating to answer very simple no it is there in the uh, slide you can just read the slide at least okay thank you gani for uh, responding okay right so so this is how we have to we have to conclude there are there are possibility of uh, this router a breaking down or failing we have two special cases 
we will see those uh, two cases, case two and case three. We will not be discussing it today, but we will be in the uh, coming classes, maybe in the next lecture or the later, we will be discussing on these things. The first thing is what we have seen, non-zero elements in the first column of the route array is the case one. Okay, no zero should be, uh, no zero should be present in the first column. That is your first case. What happens if a zero is present? Can anybody say? For example, if if uh, if uh, for example a one is zero, what happens? If a one is zero, what happens? You can see what happens to b one, what happens to b two and b three. If A1 is 0, see the formula for B1, B2, B3. What happens? If A1 is 0, what happens? B1, B2 also 0. Closely watch and say, if A1 is 0, B1 becomes infinite. Am I right or not? Yes or no? B1, B2, B3 becomes infinite. Yes or no? Hello. If B if A one becomes zero, then automatically B one, B two, B three becomes zero. Not only B three, including B four. What what is the condition? What what happens? The next row becomes infinite, and you cannot proceed further, where your normal route array fails. Accepted. Accepted or not? If any element on the first column becomes 0, then you cannot proceed to the next row. You cannot proceed to the next row because all the elements in the next row becomes infinite. You cannot proceed further. So, that is that is one case. Okay. No, uh, the first case is there is no, there is a non-zero elements in the first column of router. All the elements are positive and uh, there is no uh, zeros it may be positive or negative but there should be no zeros in the first uh, first uh, uh, column okay then case 2 is a complete row becomes zero a row of all zeros what happens to the the same thing happens you cannot proceed to the next row case 3 the first element of a row is zero but some other of elements are not zero or a role, first element is 0, which is which on the role of the elements, one is non zero. That is the third case. Second case is the row is 0 complete. First case is first case is non zero elements, positive or negative, non zero elements. The moon is the first case. We will be discussing only the first case today. Okay, in this first case, there is no difficulty in forming the router array because there is no zeros. We can proceed to the next level, next row, next row, next row. We can find it and finally comment about the system stability on, on monitoring the first column of your router array. If there is no sign change, the system is stable. If it is there is a sign change, the number of sign changes will, will provide you how many how many routes are there in the right hand side of the display. If two, if two sign changes are there, then I can say there are two routes on the right hand side of the display. Okay, and, and and you can say that system is unstable, right? Let us take an example. Let us take an example number one. So, what is the example states? The example states that using route array criterion or route criterion determine the stability of the system represented by the characteristic equation. So, my characteristic equation is provided. What is that? S power 4 plus 8 S cube plus 18 S squared plus 16s plus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, they are asking to form the router A and they are, they are asking you to comment on the location of the roots of the characteristic equation. Let us see. So, where I have to start? I have to form the router A. So, I will put s power 4. So, what is there the s power 4? 1. I will leave 8. I will take 18. Then I will leave 16. I will take 5 alternately. Then s power 3. I will take 8. I will leave 18, take 16. Okay, there is no there is no further uh, value, so I will add a zero, which called as zero padding. We call it as zero padding. Okay, now I will go to s squared. How to find s squared? 
even i can i can extend this s cube another way by dividing by 8 make it as 1 divided by 8 i will put 1 2 and this is going to be 0 So again, I will go for s squared. I will leave this one. Okay, this, I will leave. I will take that as s cube. Okay, I will. I will leave this one. Just a minute. I will leave this s cube. Instead of that, I will take this s cube. Okay, one two zero. Now, what is what is s squared? One into eighteen minus one into two divided by one. Am I right or not? One into eighteen. Minus one into two divided by one. What is the value you are getting? What is the value you are getting? Eighteen minus two divided by yeah sixteen. Okay, I will put a, a line there so that it it reminds there. Okay, okay. Then what happens to the next line? One into five minus one into zero divided by one. One into five minus One into zero divided by one. What is the value? It is going to be five. Then automatically this is going to be zero. Okay. Then what is the next uh, next power? It is s power one. It is s power one. Okay. So I have sixteen here. I have five here. So what is my next uh, next uh, uh, part? Okay. How to calculate it? Only I have to consider this s cube and s squared. So 16 into 2 minus 16 into 2 minus 1 into 5 divided by 16. Can anybody say what is the uh, value you are getting? 32 minus 5 divided by 16. What is the value? Use your calculators. What is the value? One point. One point. This thirty-two minus five divided by sixteen. One point six eight seven five. Okay, one point six eight seven five. Okay, that is a positive value. Then, then what is going to be the next uh, value? Zero, zero. So divided by sixteen going to be zero. What is my last? What is my last uh, row? Yes. Okay. So I will write this one. Uh, I will take this s squared. I will take s power one. Then I will put s. S squared. I am having sixteen. I am having five. I am having one point six eight seven five and zero. What is yes then? Sixteen. One point six eight seven five into five. Minus zero divided by one point six eight five, so I will get five. If I multiply this, subtract it with this, multiply it divided by this one, I will get five. Yes or no? Yes or no? Check that. Yes. So, what is my first column? My first column. Yes, power four. Yes, cube. Yes, squared. Yes, power one. And yes. What is my first column values? It is one. Again, one. Sixteen. One point six eight seven five and five. Why? This is positive. This is positive, 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 and positive. All elements in first column are positive. So, what is the comment? System is stable. Any doubts here? Any doubts? Okay, so it's a simple example, providing you an idea about uh, the 
lie on lhs of the s plane because it is stable all the roots will be lying on the left hand side of the s plane no roots will be there on the right hand side is that okay is that okay hello very simple okay right we will we will go to the uh, second problem if it doesn't if you if, if people are not having any doubts we will go to the next second question okay right consider this following polynomial i i will i will try to test you with this i will give you another 3 uh, minutes time form the raut array and comment about the stability online now uh, the time starts now i will call you back by this is now 10:34 i will call you back by 10:38 4 minutes time to complete this problem make it fast Okay, completed. Yes or no? Hello. What is the necessary condition? What is the necessary condition? 
all the coefficients are present all the coefficients are uh, present or non zero i can say non zero and positive okay that is a necessary condition i can say from this i can say it is it is stable but i have to check the sufficient condition okay so what is the sufficient condition what is the sufficient condition i have to frame the route array can anyone have completed anybody have completed yes it's a simple problem you can work on it very simply you can do that so 1 4 8 then 2 6 0 so what is that you can also reduce this 1 3 and all anyway we, it is a very small number so we will keep it as it is no issue 8 minus 6 so to get this value 2 into 4 minus 1 into 6 divided by 2 so 8 minus 6 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 so you will get 1 then the second thing is 2 into 8 minus 1 into 0 divided by 2 so you will get 8 so you will get an 8 here and this is going to be 0 is that right hello hello everybody tell me what is the coefficient of s power 1 the same way s power 1 it is 6 minus 16 divided by 1 so minus 10 correct then this is going to be 0 0 0 you will have an 8 here how many of you got the same yes how many of you got the same answers mark an s there in your chat window whoever got the answers correct hello everybody not just an s it should be real okay so what is my first column first column is s power 4 s cube s squared s power 1 s power 0 1 2 1 10 8 this is positive this is positive this is positive this is negative and this is positive now what will be your comment what will be your comment hello everybody in the class please respond what will be your comment hmm stability what is stability my means gani gani tell me whether whether there is all are positive then minus 10 what is minus 10 gani there is a minus 10 so you have a sign change am i right or not you are having a sign change how many sign changes are there only three is responding what about the others how many sign changes are there hmm adhe tappu da ellarum adhe maari da irukinga how many sign change we can say positive to positive positive to positive no sign change positive to negative one sign change okay then negative to positive again 
second sign change. So how many sign change? Two. Okay, so two sign changes are there. Two sign changes in first column. System is unstable. And what about the comment I can write about the roots? Two sign changes in the first column. So two roots on RHS of the S plane. Two sign changes on the RHS of the S plane. Got the idea? Hello? Yes, sir. Adana Pathan, number condition number sufficient condition lender Pathan. First column, the sign change irka kuda, the sign sign change irunda na unstable. Ethana sign change irko, Athana roots right hand side lerko. And a right hand side inger the unstable region. Ethana sign change is irko, Athana roots right hand side lerko. Any doubts in this in this problem? Problem example number two. Yes. Strictly no. Okay, fine. We will consider third problem, third example. This is another typical. You can see it's a it's a, the open loop transfer function. The open loop transfer function g of s h of s is equal to k divided by s into s squared plus 4s plus 20 into s plus 1 into s plus 1. This is the open loop transfer function. But what is required? I want the closed loop uh, transfer function and particularly I am interested in only your characteristic equation. What is your characteristic equation? 1 plus g of s h of s. So I will have 1 plus k divided by s into s squared plus 4s plus 20 into s plus 1. Okay. So if I find it, Okay, I will get this equation. What is asked actually? Find the range of k. Find the range of k for which the system remains to be in the stable region. What should be the condition for the system to be stable? The first column should not have a sign change. If you say it is positive, it should be greater than 0. That is it. So, if I arrange or form a route array based on this characteristic equation, I will get it like S power 4 is equal to 1, 24k, S cube is 5, 20, 0. So, I can reduce this S cube, okay, again further and I can proceed or I will keep it as, as it is and I can proceed, whatever it is. So, if I continue further, I will get my, I will get my route array to be this. If I reduce it, what I will get? If I reduce this S cube, what I will get? Instead of 5, I will have 1. Instead of 20, I will have 4. So, what, what, I, what will be there? 24, 24 minus 4 divided by 1, which is going to be 20. Yes. Then, then 5k minus 0 divided by 5k will give me 5, give me k. Then what I will do? I will I will multiply this. I will multiply this and I will get it. What 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 is that I will get? Using these two 20 into 4. Okay. 20 into 4 minus 5k divided by 20. Am I right or not? 20 into 4 minus 5k. 20 into 4 minus 5k divided by 20. So, I will end up with 4 minus 5k divided by 20. So, I have a mistake here. It is going to be, it is going to be 4 minus, 4 minus 5k divided by 20. Is that right or not? 20 into 4 minus, I am not 5k, it is going to be k, am I right? Okay.
or you can keep it as as it is no 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 issue 4 minus 4 minus k by 20 4 minus k divided um, uh, 4 minus uh, i think i can change it here this is going to be 4 minus k by 20 okay 4 minus k by 20 0 0 and finally s4 0 is equal to k any doubt so far any doubt so far any doubt so far everybody in the class please respond please respond hello go step by step and you can find the same results if i if you reduce it you can do that or you keep it as it is you can you can also get the same results okay that is not going to be an issue at all okay so my first column let us consider my first column what is my first column first column is 1 i will keep it as 1 this is 20 this is 4 minus k divided by 20 then k but condition to be stable is what all the elements in the first column should be positive positive in the sense all the elements should be positive that is greater than 0 1 is greater than 0 1 is greater than 0 20 is greater than 0 but we have two terms okay two terms which are in terms of k i have to use this and find what is that from this from this what i can say k should be greater than 0 one condition is there from this what i can say 4 minus k by 20 should be greater than 0 so what i can conclude what i can conclude 4 is greater than k by 20 or 80 is greater than k or finally i can write k should be less than 80 and greater than 0 yes or no people in the class please respond yes or no only two uh, elements are there which should be greater than 0 other three elements 1 1 and 20 are uh, already greater than 0 this this condition is already satisfied 1 1 and 20 is already positive and to be positive these two elements it has to satisfy that these two elements has to be greater than 0 and k should be greater than 0 that is accepted what about this one 4 minus k by 20 greater than 0 you br you bring this to the other side minus k by 20 to the other side what will you get what will you get you will get minus k by 20 becomes k by 20 if you bring this 20 to the other side you will get 4 into 20 which is 80 so 80 is greater than k so 80 is greater than k k greater than 0 already there so this using these two conditions i can finally uh, finally say that for the system to be stable what is that k value to be the k value should be greater than 0 but it should be less than 80 what happens if you substitute 80 if we substitute 80 here this becomes 0 if 80 this becomes 0 am i right or not no element has to be 0 first column element should be 0 if this is 0 then automatically this becomes infinite next line becomes infinite so that's an issue so i i should choose the k value less than 80 but it should be it should be greater than 0 why greater than 0 if i put k k is equal to minus 1 what happens the first column becomes not all positive one negative will be there so i have to choose all my k values greater than 0 and should be less than 80 any doubts here any doubts here hello So, let us summarize whatever we have discussed today. Let us summarize whatever we have discussed today. We have seen three example problems and one particular case. 
so it is an analytical method this rauthert's uh, criteria is a analytical method based on the characteristic equation you can comment about the stability you have two steps involved one is finding out the necessary condition and the second step is checking for the sufficient condition necessary condition you have to, you will say that all the characteristic polynomial i mean the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial are found to be there and they should be positive no coefficient should be zero or negative then what is sufficient condition you form a rout array and check the first column of the rout array if all the elements are positive then you can say that is system is stable if any sign change is there then that is going to be unstable and the number of sign changes will provide you the roots in the right hand side of the s plane and there are two uh, special cases one case is if all the zeros all the rows uh, in a particular uh, uh, all the elements in the particular row become zero that is one special case you cannot proceed to the next line because it leads to an infinite in the next line of a router array okay that is one case and the first element of a row is zero then always that is also going to provide the same result it is going to give you infinite for the next row then there these two cases your router array fails and we will deal with that in the next class and the first case we have taken we have taken three examples the first example says that ah uh, uh, okay all the elements in the first column are positive so the system is completely stable and second example has given me two sign changes in the first column which provides me an idea about there are two roots on the right hand side of this and if you find the if you find the solution for this uh, for, for this equation you can find that two roots will be lying on the right hand side that is you will have two positive Uh, uh real uh, real numbers okay which will be there in the right hand side and in the third case you are supposed to find what is the range of k okay to make your system to be there in the stable region understand understand any doubts in any 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 slide you can ask me any doubts there in the any of the slide please respond <coughs> 